Hey, how's it going? And this is the last tutorial for today. Where we last left off, we had our metahuman doing, having a good time here, doing a little hip hop dancing, getting the, her groove on or whatever. And that's great. But now the only issue is, is what if we want to, what if we want to modify this animation or potentially combine it with other animations? And I guess we could go ahead and modify this because it is an animation sequence. But I wanted to show you how we can also bake out a fresh animation if we wanted to out of the sequencer. So we could just go ahead and animate this, make modifications to this. But I wanted to show you how you could also bake out an animation sequence. So let's right click here and we'll go to cinematics and we'll go to level sequencer. And I'll just call it my first fake. And we'll just double click into it. And then what we'll do is we're going to go into the track and we're going to add our BP person to it. And watch what happens when we do. She loses that animation that we had connected to her, and then she has the control rig on. So we could actually do animation with this control rig if we wanted to. So we could just start animating with this and making her do all kinds of funky things, like a stop motion animation kind of way. I'm too lazy to do that today, so today we're just gonna go back and add the animation. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the control rig. And then we're going to come down here on the body and go to track and animation. And we're just going to go ahead and add that animation we just took out. And there it is back again. Now, if I hit play, you'll notice she's dancing. Seems like she was before. Now, if you hit control and turn your scroll wheel, you can make the timeline compress. Then we can go ahead and drag. This is kind of our length of play and this is our animation we can just cl click and drag it out too so now we have a much longer loop to mess around with and all we have to do really to render out a new animation to bake out an animation whether it's a pre-existing animation or one that we modified with the control rig is we just right click and we go bake animation sequence here and it's wanting us to put it somewhere so I don't really have a handy folder, so let me just put it... I think there's an animation folder here. No, not there. In It's not uh, right here. Let's just put it in there, the UE4. And it's we can call this um, my first bake. And we'll go OK. And then there's some settings here that we can adjust. There's interpolation and all this other stuff. I think everything's okay as it is for right now. And we'll just go export to animation sequence. And it says one animation sequence asset created. We'll go open my first bake. And there she is dancing, which is very similar to the other animation we had, although I think this one is longer than that one. And then what we can do is if we come in here and go on the skeleton tree, we can start adjusting things and making tweaks and re-recording it out and doing all different kinds of things to it. So we could have also have animated this with the control rig too, but and then bake that out as well. So this is just an introduction. From here, I'm gonna start doing a deep dive into the animation sequence editor, which is this thing, because I am very interested in combining animations and making animations and kind of Frankensteining anim animations together. So stay tuned for that. The next two or three weeks is gonna be nothing but animation. So that's kind of why I'm on a roll with all this animation right now. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.